All right, for lecture nine, we are going to do a communication project overview, which will hopefully give you some good detail on how to address this project for the remainder of the semester. Now, I have titled this Bad Communication. However, keep in mind that it doesn't necessarily mean you pick someone that you are in a knockdown, drag out fight with. This is just someone that you would hope to improve your communication with. So it could be a significant other, a friend, a coworker, uh, another family member that you guys do just fine, but there are areas in need of improvement. And maybe it is someone that you really are in major conflict with and would like to resolve. That's your choice, but you de definitely don't have to get yourself into an awkward, bad situation. Now, we are looking at a couple of different pieces here, but I want to start, as usual, with some quotes. I know I've got quite a few here, but I think they're great. One is submitted by Lisa Johnson. It says, say what you mean and mean what you say, but don't say it mean. I love that. I think that's hilarious. Another submitted by Steve Bersani. Those who treasure the sound of their own voice above all others are truly deaf. And Ann Landers, the trouble with talking too fast is you may say something you haven't thought of yet. Another great one by Plato, wise men talk because they have something to say, fools because they have to say something. Winston Churchill, broadly speaking, the short words are the best and the old words best of all. And then Mother Teresa, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. And finally, Malcolm Forbes, if you say what you think, don't expect to hear only what you like. So these are great quotes. I, I mean, I especially love the Lisa Johnson one, but they're also, they're all wonderful. So take a look at those at your leisure. And now here is kind of a breakdown of what to listen to or what to expect. So for the second half of the term, we are going to approach what we call a communication project. Now for this project, you will select a person in your life with which you would like to enhance the effectiveness of your communication. Now, this is a relationship that you would like to see change for the better. And at the end of the term, you will have had a chance to interview this person one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, and hopefully make progress towards that goal. The project will be submitted in two parts, and that's where I'm going to explain each of the parts here so that you kind of know what to expect. So there are, like I said, three parts. Part one is worth 50 points and has two sections to it, basically. You will be submitting both a foundation sheet and an interview question sheet. Both of these are due in week 10 um, for the 16-week course and week 5, I believe, for the 8-week course. So these are due in those weeks at the exact same time in the exact same submission. So the foundation sheet basically is a form that you fill out that gives me some of the basic details of the person that you chose for the final project your reason for choosing that person along with any goals you have for the interview. So you have to fill out the form completely and submit it to me by the deadline. And you can see the deadline um, depending upon which semester you're in. It's going to vary what the date is, but they're always at the end of, of week 10 for the 16-week class and week see, week 5 for the 8-week class. But again, take, take a look at your, um, at your communication project schedule and see where you, where you fall. So your foundation sheet is very easily a fill in the blank. It is available to you on your front page for the week nine, and you should be able to see everything clearly. Now the interview questions is more involved, and it is worth a large chunk of the 50 points. So it's basically a list of 10 questions that you will be asking the person that you chose. And you have to submit all 10 questions. Please don't, don't submit six or seven of them. They need to have all 10 questions and you need to submit them well before you plan on doing the interview. And you please do not conduct the interview until after I respond back to you with your grade. Because there are many times in which people will write questions that I can tell will probably cause drama. And I want you to reword. Or I can tell are going to be confusing or need some enhancement in some area. So please do not conduct the interview until you have gotten the grade back from me. And you'll see that all over our course page, but please keep that in mind. Now, in addition to the 10 questions, you're also going to submit a specific goal that you wish to achieve for each of the questions. So you're going to basically tell me 
what you want to ask and then why you're asking it. Now, you don't want to ask a question like, how would you describe my communication skills? And then in the goal say, well, my goal is to find out how he would describe my communication skills. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. I can tell the, the basic, the very obvious goal of your question just by reading the question. But what I would like for you to do instead would be to say in your question, how would you describe my communication skills? And in your response, your, your excuse me, in your goal, you would say something like, I would really hope that when he describes my communication skills, he gives me clear cut specifics that I can see whether I do these right or wrong. Or I would really like to see specifically what I do well and specifically what I am faltering at. Or something along those lines. So providing details, uh, further depth to that question. So those are the two pieces. Now this, is, this part of the final project is going to be, like I said, graded to you in week 10. So at the beginning of week 10 or in the middle of week 10 and we'll probably be back to you by that time. So please wait before you get to that point. And please wait to submit it before you get to that point and, and start conducting the interview. So that's part one, again, due in week 10. So next week for many of you. Part two is, it, it seems like it's worth a small amount of points and it is only because you have to transcribe the interview. You will have to do the interview no matter what in order to be able to do the final piece, which is another 30 points, you would have to have conducted the interview. But this one isn't worth as many points because it doesn't require you to do a whole lot. You, obviously, you, it's a lot to have to do the interview, but as far as what you submit to me, it's not, it, not very much. You're basically going to take the interview question sheet that you already did, and you are going to record their responses. And that's pretty much it. Now, after receiving the approval for your 10 questions, or adjusting the questions based on my suggestion, you will set up that interview. So you will make a time to, to conduct a face-to-face -face interview. And if you cannot do face-to-face, -face, please do a Skype or FaceTime interview, something where you can see the person, not a phone interview, and definitely do not submit the questions to your, your friend or your family member via email and have them respond. That's not appropriate. So face-to-face -face or at least digital FaceTime or Skype interview. And below are a couple of things that you are going to be typing up. So you're obviously going to have the first two things which you have already done, your question and your goal. Then you're going to record their response. And then you're also going to give me some basic nonverbals. You don't want to say things like, she seemed stress, stressed, or uh, he looked nervous. What specifically did he or she do that relayed those emotions to you? So if you said she seemed stressed, you could say she wouldn't maintain eye contact with me, she was shaking her legs, she was leaning forward or leaning to the side to try to get away from me, those kinds of things would be more appropriate. So each question should be formatted like this and you will also be provided with the template just like you were for the first part. You're going to be provided with a template in weeks 9 and then also again in week 13 for this section. So that's part 2 and it's worth 10 points, uh, but it's basically the act of conducting the interview and recording the responses. And then finally part 3 is the overall summary and this is kind of the, the culmination of everything. It is worth 30 points and in the summary you are going to basically analyze what you what what happened in the interview so you're going to prepare an analysis that answers the following questions one were the majority majority of your goals met uh, if so how were they met and if not why were they not met so these goals up here that you put were the majority of them met did you get what you wanted out of it number two how did your relationship change with this person so did anything change? Did it stay the same? Did it change for the better, for the worst? What and why? And how come you came to that conclusion? And then three, what have you learned regarding your communication style before and after the class? So it could be something that you came to light when you were studying conflict. Or maybe you realized something while you were conducting this interview that you were able to see in yourself. And there will be a template provided for you in week in this week and as well as in week 16 so you can kind of see exactly what I'm looking for. Now please be sure to look at all of the templates for each part of the communication project 
and be sure you're familiar with all of the requirements for each section. In order to get the most out of this project and to be as effective as possible, you want to make sure you have every single detail plugged in. I don't require a huge amount of stuff from everybody, so I, I hope that you are able to clearly get in what you need for these three pieces to this project. Hopefully that helps you out. I know this was a short little lecture, but it should give you an overview of what to expect for this project, and you should be ready to go. If you have questions, let me know.